Recent studies by the United Nations have projected that by 2030, 60% of the global population will be living in urban areas. That is an increase of 10% in just 20 years. This trend will ultimately have an impact on the spread of infectious disease and will challenge the contemporary model of healthcare. One of the keys to preventing a pandemic will be to isolate infected individuals, limiting their contact with others in these super dense cities of the future. Since the 1930s, architects have been investigating capsular dwellings, and if arranged in a distributed network, they may just be the key to preventing future epidemics. These Medicare pods could provide local diagnostic health care, essentially acting as microclinics. However, they would primarily be used to isolate patients who show symptoms of communicable diseases. The Medipod would be a self-sufficient unit that would require minimal external input. Through high-speed wireless technology, patients would be remotely monitored and would conference frequently with healthcare providers. In the event of an outbreak, the units would become mobile and would congregate to form an instant hospital. In order to remain self-sufficient, the pod would become a model of efficiency. Fresh water is distributed to fixtures such as the shower head and faucet. The used water then enters a drain and into a grey water holding tank. This water is then reused to operate the toilet. It is then sent to an algae photobioreactor that feeds on the nutrients in the wastewater to rapidly produce algae for biofuel. This process also somewhat purifies the water, which would then be further filtered and treated to once again become potable water. The HVAC system would HEPA filter incoming and outgoing air to limit the spread of airborne diseases. The medical gas tanks, like freshwater tanks, would be located externally to allow for exchange when required. The Medipod would host embedded thin film LCD technology on many of the wall surfaces, allowing to view scenery, videos, data, and would enable face-to-face -face conferencing. As patients may be forced to live in the pod for some time, a virtue sphere would be included. The patient enters the sphere wearing a virtual reality headset and is able to walk, run, or crawl through an endless array of virtual landscapes. Multiple Medipods are able to share power and resources when stacked together. To enable movement, the Medipods can roll over surfaces or climb over obstacles. To enable stacking, one pod stands to its full height allowing for another pod to roll underneath it. This pod can then in turn raise itself to allow for another pod to roll underneath. This action is critical as the instant hospital would form in any available open public space regardless of available area. They would form units of 25 oriented in a southern direction to allow for the most efficient production from the photobioreactors. Other services, treatment bays, and refining stations could link up to complete the complex.